Hello and welcome to the MCQ lecture series. In today's class, we are going to look at some of the important multiple choice questions with respect to Indian economic environment semester 2, which is the economic general paper for FYB. So let's get started. The first question is service sector is also known as what? Whether it is known as a primary sector, B industrial sector, C tertiary sector or D none of the above. So here the correct answer is C tertiary sector service sector is also known as tertiary sector primary sector is also known as agricultural sector and industrial sector is also known as secondary sector or manufacturing sector so option C tertiary sector or service sector is the correct option to this particular question I hope the question is clear let us now move to the next one which of the following is a part of service sector or tertiary sector alternatively yeah? let us look at the underlying options option a is agriculture option b is manufacturing option c is transportation option d is none of the above so here option a agriculture relates to primary sector so agriculture is a part of primary sector manufacturing is a part of secondary or industrial sector and transportation is a part of tertiary or service sector so here we are specifically asking which of the following is a part of service sector so here option C transportation is the correct answer to this question I hope the question is clear let us now move to the next one which sector contributes the most here I am asking the largest contributor to GDP or gross domestic product in India this is in, in relation to India per se here I have not written but it explicitly talks about India only anyways which sector contributes the most to gross domestic product whether it is a primary sector b secondary sector c tertiary sector or d none of the above so here the correct answer is the sector or the largest contributor sector to GDP is tertiary sector so here option c is the correct answer to this question I hope the question is clear okay let us now move to the next one the next one is arrange the following sectors according to their contributions in GDP so we have to arrange them we have to arrange the uh, in such a fashion that the largest will come first and then uh, the second largest and then the smallest one okay we have to arrange the sectors or we have to identify the arrangement we, it is already arranged we have to identify that okay so the first option is service has the largest then comes industry and then agriculture then service agriculture and industry that means service is the largest then agriculture and then industry the third is agriculture is the largest then service sector and then industry and none of the above so here contribution towards GDP we have seen the most contribution is coming from tertiary sector so it is service sector here and here is the maximum in two options so option three is obsolete for us so after service it is in the first option industry and then in the second option agriculture so here the correct answer is the largest contributor is service sector thereafter we have industry and then agriculture so here option a is the correct answer to this particular question wherein service sector is the largest uh, largest contributor then we have industry as the largest contributor to GDP and then we have agriculture as the largest contributor to GDP I hope this is clear the arrangement is service is greater than industry industry is greater than agriculture so option a is the correct answer to this question let us now move to the next one a not sort of a question which of the following is not a part of service sector I'm looking at something which is not a part of service sector let us look at the underlying options the first option is a insurance B agriculture C banking D transportation so here which of the following is not a part of service sector it is but obvious that agriculture is not a part of service sector insurance is a service banking services and transportation all accounts for or all are incorporated into something called a service sector or tertiary sector agriculture is in relation to primary sector so here the correct answer is option B agriculture is not a part of service sector I hope the question is clear let us now move to the next one the fastest growing sector in India is dash the question is the fastest growing sector in India is dash whether it is a primary sector whether it is B secondary sector 
whether it is C tertiary sector or D none of the above. So here, if we look at the growth of agriculture per se, you don't really see growth more than four percent per se. That is year on year basis. It has not grown more than that over the years. India unfortunately jumped from primary directly to tertiary, and therefore you don't really find the sort of uh, growth which you could have observed in the uh, service sector, uh, in the secondary sector, or industrial or manufacturing sector. So this is also growing more or less in a nice fashion. But the largest or fastest growing sector in India is the tertiary sector because after the liberalisation, you jumped directly from primary to the service sector. and therefore tertiary sector is the correct answer the fastest growing sector in india is the tertiary or service sector i hope the question is clear let us now move to the next one which services make the indian service sector distinctive in the world which services makes indian service sector distinctive in the world what is the distinguishing thing about the services produced uh, or services given by india which makes it distinctive in the world per se whether it is a people based services whether it is b time based services whether it is c knowledge based services or d none of the above so here knowledge based services makes indian service sector distinctive in terms of the world services and therefore option c knowledge based services is the correct answer with respect to this question very important question let us now move to the next one the next one is dash programs are implemented by the government of india to aid service sector in india which kind of programs were implemented by the government of india to help the service sector in india whether it is a skill india mission whether it is b digital india mission whether it is c startup india or d all of the above so here if we look at the programs or missions implemented by the government of india all these three important missions were implemented in order to aid service sector in india by the government of india and therefore option a b c all relates to the same and therefore option d all of the above is true that means skill india mission digital india mission as well as startup india mission are the programs implemented by the government of india to aid service sector in india therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this question i hope the question is clear let us now move to the next one which of the following are general challenges to indian service sector in general what can be the challenges to indian service sector the first is access to loan the second is technology the third is institutional challenges and fourth is all of the above so here the general challenges to indian service sector are denoted by all these three points that means you don't really have good access to loans then there are technological problems or technological base is not that developed the third is institutional challenges which are there and therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this question which talks about the general challenges to indian service sector i hope the question is clear let us now move to the next one now specifically we are looking at business based services and the challenges to the same and the question is framed in this fashion the business based services face dash challenges in india what kind of challenges are faced by business based services business based services and the underlying options are a project management b lack of skilled workforce is a challenge third is client management and last is all of the above so here the challenges faced by business based services in india are denoted by all these three points that means client management lack of skilled workforce as well as the project management per se and therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this question i'm giving you questions which have all of the above as answers because it will cover up important things which are necessary for us to understand the the points per se or the concept per se okay so i hope this is clear let us now move to the next one what kind of uh, business transactions usually occur and that is the question the question is the business transactions usually occur as a dash whether it is a b to b that is business to business whether it is b to c that is business to consumer whether it is b to a that is business to administration there are others as well c to c consumer to consumer and things like that or c to consumer to administration and all these are different sort of business transactions which are usually take place but in this point we are given the three and the last option is all of the above so here business transactions usually occur in 
all these three formats that means business to business business to consumer as well as business to administration and therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this question i hope the concept is clear let us now move to the next one which of the following are examples of knowledge based services examples of knowledge based services in india okay knowledge based services in india and the underlying options are a educational services b communication services medicine or healthcare services and d all of the above so here knowledge based services are incorporated or are are studied or can be studied or the examples of the same can be education communication as well as medical or healthcare services because it kind of requires certain skill or knowledge per se so therefore all of the above is the correct answer to this question which talks about the examples of knowledge based services in india i hope this is clear let us now move to the next one the challenges to education based services in india here i am specifically looking at the challenges to education based services in india what can be the challenges to education based services first is the quality of the service the second is the cost of service the third is access to the uh, service and last is all of the above so here if you look at education based services the cost is a big problem in india its accessibility is also a big problem and also the quality of the same is a problem per se or a challenge per se therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to the question which talks about the challenges to education based services in india and therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer let us now move to the next question the challenges to healthcare based services here we have talked about educational uh, services or uh, education based services and the challenges to the same here we are interested in looking at uh, looking at the challenges to healthcare based services in india in the current times when we look at a very brittle healthcare system let us look at what can be the possible challenges to healthcare based services in india the first is low public investment that means the government is not investing enough in public healthcare or healthcare per se in general the second is lack of skilled staff that means lack of medical staff doctors nursing staff etc then we have c expensive private alternatives or expensive healthcare services for countries like india and the last is all of the above so here the challenges to healthcare based services in india are denoted by all these three points that means the low public health uh, investments are there then we have lack of skilled staff then we have expensive services and therefore option d all of the above is the correct answer to this particular question i hope the question is clear let us now move to the last question in this session the challenges to banking based services banking based services in india what can be the possible challenges option a non performing assets that means i take loan but i do not repay it so for the bank it becomes a non performing asset because bank was expecting certain principal as well as its rate of interest on that particular loan which it, it had disbursed but unfortunately the repayment of that loan is not coming that means the uh, the emis are not coming and as a result of that it is turned into something called as a non performing asset then we have corruption that means the disbursement of loan is uh, the process itself is uh, influenced by a lot of factors then we have a reduced profit since most of the loans are turning non performing assets the profits which the banks were about to generate out of uh, extending loans that is shrinking so this is a big challenge to the banking service uh, ba banking based services in india and last is all of the above so here the correct answer is option d all of the above wherein we see that the profits of the banks have shrinked the corruption which is there in disbursement is still existent and also we have a large number of non performing assets with respect to the bank and therefore these are some of the challenges with respect to banking based services in india i hope these questions are pretty much clear in the next class as well i am going to talk about mcqs with respect to the same chapter so we'll continue from here onwards so please stay tuned for more thank you